Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? This is a video on my battery bank. Um, right there is number one battery. That's where my neg negative comes in. From my uh, my negative comes in from my uh, solar panels and my inverter and all the other good stuff. And let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I just got through spraying my uh, cables again. I do it every every so often with uh, CRC. See the vapors coming off of them. Let me see if y'all can see that. There you go. That's the vapors hovering around in the uh, battery box. But yes, yeah, from the battery cables. These are AGM batteries. They're 27 series, 90 amp hours a piece. And these are my outback uh, temperature sensors for my charge controllers. Two, my two charge controllers and my inverter my Outback GTFX 2524 there's my temperature sensors but I'm using all 4 alt cable do this right let me see here let me see what we're using here I believe I'm using them um, yep 4 alt for a battery cable. And I got these in, and there's my or my uh, my charge controller. My divert load comes in um, for my wind turbine and my wind turbine cables. And that's going to my inverter. And out here goes to my my little trusty blue C's on off switch right here and then it runs into my battery box through here then I have a 300 amp fuse right here and that goes back to my inverter that makes sense and I got my battery bank and these are 12 volt batteries I have them in series parallel like this goes from negative to positive and then that, that's, that's, and I go again to negative to negative, right there. And that hooks the two batteries into 24 volt. And there we go again, negative to positive, and then positive to positive. And there we go. And then that, that one right there goes from negative to positive. So these are, this battery bank is in series, right here, series, parallel right there series parallel and over here is my other parallel okay well it's my battery bank and like I said I got everything fused and right there is my Bogart trimetric comes in and all my other um, Bogart trimetrics are coming in there and my uh, blue C's uh, amp ammeter from a win but yeah it's just yeah, I got it going on. Like I said, I just sprayed the cables. I use, uh, and here's my battery bank from a long ways off. But there she is. And she's inside my good old box. And I got bent holes back there. Plus my cables run through them. These are AGMs. They don't get too hot or anything like that. But yeah, that's my setup. I like it, but yeah, six batteries all I need. Plus the price of them. these AGMs aren't cheap. <laughs> They're like about two hundred and about two hundred twenty-five dollars a piece. So and it does good enough for what I need. And this is a CRC I use. Battery terminal protection protector. And that's the red stuff. 
as you can see right here. Bam! There she is. But also, I had some comments about my Bogart Trimetric. This is my 2025A. This is a battery monitor. It shows you the power coming in. Right now, it's set at watts. Um, bringing in 127 watts. But at night, when the battery bank, when the battery bank is getting charged from the grid, it shows a pot. It, it just it shows not a negative sign. It just it just says the opposite during the day, and everything's hooked up correctly. For whatever reason, I don't know, but at night when it's going back to the grid, it's showing power coming back in um, when it's charging. But when I checked on my wiring and double checked it and rechecked it and all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, here is my my DC my midnight solar. Um, uh, midnight solar mini disconnect 250 box. And this is where I got everything running into. My shunt, 500 amp shunt, and that's where my trimetric hooks to. My SIG wire coming from my battery side. My load side is my B1 and B2. Excuse me, S. Look at my directions here. The G2 and the G1, excuse me. There's the directions on the Bogart. And my G1 and my D2 are coming through here and going down into my Bogart. But right now we're producing, I go, I didn't mean to get you off track, but, but right now we're producing 1,270 watts. And it says 1,000, right? 1,270 watts, she's dead on. Awesome system. I love the Bogart. Anyway, uh, yep, she is dead on money. But, and the fan you hear running, that's the, uh, that is the GTFX 2524 Outback. Keeping it cool. It's a warm day today. It's 70, how much 80 degrees in here today? 71, almost 72 degrees outside. Uh, kind of went, got a little wind going on there. A little wind going on there. And there's my watts view sensor. And that goes to, through there and goes right straight, straight to the, well, it goes to my uh, 60 amp breaker, which is right here. That's where my wind comes in, right here. So, my wind, my charge controllers, my solar, all that good stuff comes in from here. Yeah. Okay, and this is my, my main breaker switch for my inverter. And y'all saw the battery switch disconnect. This is all my DC disconnect. Got everything labeled. Uh, PV array. Wind turbines. Positive. PV array. Negative. It's all kind of goodies in here. <laughs> But anyway, but we're producing 950 watts right now on the big, on the 1610, 1610 watts, 950 watts, and we're producing 330 watts right now. On my Flex Max 80, this is 560 watts of power on that solar array. And these are both the Flex Max 80s. But anyway, I just want to show you my battery bank. And here she is, my battery bank. Y'all have a great one. Thank you for watching. This is. KV USMC or Virelocity or Kenny. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Alright, y'all take care. Alright. Let me shut this thing off. <laughs>